Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Media, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And uh, today we're doing something a little different. <laughs> I mean, a little different. Yeah, me and Jonas, uh, we were sitting here and we came up with an idea while we were brainstorming, doing doing a couple videos, just trying to get some stuff going. We're like, why don't we just start doing some of these crappy BuzzFeed, <laughs> BuzzFeed quiz quizzes? And just see how bad and terrible they actually yeah, can. Yeah, and what get. we and what we are. Like, you know, we might find some things out about ourselves. It started out with first sonas, now we're doing anything. So we're basically just gonna scroll down. If you look at yesterday, Jonas was a uh, he was a Newman Snorlax or some bull crap. I don't even care. I'm gonna find out everyone fits into a Gen Z stereotype. Which one am I? Yeah, let's which find. Gen Z stereotype are you? All right, fine, whatever, BuzzFeed, let's go. And I'll I pick guess. one from the bottom and go from there. All right, uh, pick a house plant. All right. All right, uh, 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 the cacti. Oh, that's that one nice, looks dude. sweet, dude. Pick, pick a TikTok star Tati, Christiana D'Amelio, uh, Michael Lee, or the Lopez brothers. I'm going to have to go with uh, Tati. Okay. I don't know any of those. Pick a millennial sentence that bothers you the most. <laughs> uh, but first coffee. Look at that doggo. I did a thing. I'm such a huffle huffle. The, the ones that bothers you, though, not that you can relate to. Oh, my God. Well, I'm such a huffle puff. It's absolutely terrible. You know what that's from, by the way? Harry Potter. Okay. I do know that. There you go. Uh, I dated a girl who was really into Harry Potter. <laughs> and Hufflepuff. You can tell a Hufflepuff. Dude, people me. love boba, dude. Pick a beverage. Boba tea. What the frick is whipped coffee? That looks gross as F. It, it looks, looks like, like mustard on milk. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like freaking crap, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, Matcha I watched... Latte? Dude, I watched a video of this guy yeah. that put milk in the soda stream. I saw that! <laughs> He's like, oh my god, this is such a bad idea. He was like way over freaking out. Like he had like a little, he had like one, one single paper towel under the machine. Yeah, I know. And he ended up getting like a bunch. And then he drinks, he's like, it's not the worst drink I've ever had. He takes another drink. He's like, that might be the worst <laughs> drink I've ever had. It's like, it's close to the worst thing I've ever had. Oh, Jesus. So apparently this matcha stuff is pretty popping right now, Jonas. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, I don't, I've never had it, but I, I get I get the idea. Definitely not with coffee. Boba is amazing. Bubble tea is so gross. Let's, keep, let's just keep it a buck. I'm a white boy. I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm a white claw boy. <laughs> keep it a say. buck, and then he throw out I'm a white boy. That was not a Freudian slip. That was not a Freudian slip. The fact that I said Freudian like, slip makes it sound like it was a Freudian slip. That reminds slip. me of like when you were playing that Zelda video and you're like, look how gracious I am that you land in love and die. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Anyways. Pick a cottage to live in. Oh, oh. my God. These ways, I'm actually going to take my time here. Wow, that reminds me of, that reminds me of Ohio right there. I'm not going to lie. It do. That one, I don't know. That looks like some England type stuff. Hmm. I'm going to pick. Uh, I don't want the one with the flowers. I'm going to pick this wispy one. I like that one, one too. Pick a color: lime green, mustard yellow, baby blue, or hot pink. I know baby. what you're picking. Pick what? an artist. Did you know I was going to pick pink? Yeah. Okay, you fine. like pink? Pick an artist. Doja Cat. Absolutely not. Didn't do nothing. The Wallows. Nope. Megan the Stallion or Madison Beer. I guess I got to go with Meg. Okay. Uh, and finally, what's on the agenda tonight? Perfecting a makeup look, watching hours of TikTok, dismantling the patriarchy, <laughs> Jesus. or swiping on Tinder. Let's keep it a buck. The oversharer. Read that out loud for us, Jonas. Your family and friends consider you the CEO of TMI. You're an open book. Some might say a little too open. For example, maybe you didn't need to upload that TikTok that described the unique shape of your latest poop, but hey... People sure as hell think you're funny. The complete opposite of you. <laughs> you, are, you are literally the opposite of an overshare. <laughs> Alright, scroll down. I'll pick one of the ones. All right, we're, you're, going, we're going to the bottom here. You how gotta many pick of these one. kinds of F-boys have you encountered? <clears throat> or... Uh, what kind of TikToker? Everyone's one of these six personality types. Go down a little farther. 
15 reasons. Wait, are you serious or goofy? Oh, these suck. Go up a little bit. Well, you gotta pick one. Go up a little bit. Never. Go to how many of these kinds of F boys have you All right, encountered? Jonas, let's go. How many F boys do you know? <laughs> Image has been removed from request of copyright owner. All right, fine. Uh, check every kind of F boy you've ever had. Oh, no, just go back. I have none. It's none of them, so it's not gonna go back one. Go all the way to the bottom. I'll pick one off of this, I guess. Because I don't. No, you, know, you, you picked this one. I've never, I've never encountered any of them, so the answer is the none. The guy who says he's a feminist and uses it as an excuse to get out of pain. You verb. picked this one, dude. We go to. All right. We gotta have some sort of. All right. Regulation the, here. The sexual. You picked the bad one. I'm sorry. It's the, the sexually progressive guy who pressures you. Oh yeah, I've met that guy. All right. The guy who says he's an ethical, ethical non-monogamous. <laughs> Do you know this term? I do. Ethical non-monogamy. Dude, this is some new, like, I can honestly. relate to that one, man. Yeah, you're F1. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who doesn't vote just makes a statement. <laughs> <laughs> just to make a statement, dude. The guy who asks you not to wear makeup because he prefers women to look natural. The guy who's into empowerment and in S, but he really needs you to shave. The guy who swears he isn't homophobic, but F's his S when he another guy hits on him. The mansplainer. The guy who Venmo invoices you for every last cent. You owe me thirty-seven forty-two for that brunch. The guy who expects you to text him back immediately, but will disappear off the grid for days. The guy who's ever begun a sentence with "I'm not racist," but the guy who does not own sheets the guy who does not uh, clean his apartment that's weird the guy who won't lend you any clothes because he's afraid you'll lose it oh wait, wait wait before we go we should we should mark off the ones we know i'm sorry I've, I've okay have you ever met a dude who says he's a feminist and uses that i've never met a dude who does that All maybe right. he claims he's a feminist and tries to get in a girl's pants because I, of yeah him. i don't know that guy sexually either. progressive guy who pressures into doing things yeah there's that's a that's okay, a million that's a definite. Dudes. The guy who Go says he's an ethical. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. I, uh, I no the guy person. who doesn't vote just to make a statement. Yeah, I clicked that one. <laughs> the guy who asked you not to wear makeup. Yeah, that one. The guy who's into empowerment but needs you to shave. Yeah, there's dudes who do that. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm all about women, but you know, shave them. You know pits, that bro. guy though? Oh, do I know a guy like that? Yeah. Guys, you uh, know? No, I don't know a guy I who don't knows know that. that guys like that. Swears he isn't homophobic. Oh yeah, that one for sure. Yeah. Yep. Met them before. Yeah. The, the man's, man's oh, absolutely. Yep. Guy who Venmo's you invoices for every last cent. Yep. We're going to click that one. The guy who expects you to text them back immediately to disappear off the grid. I, I don't know that one, but I know he exists for sure. I know he exists, but I don't, I've never met him. I don't think. The guy who's ever been going to I'm not racist, but oh, yeah, for sure. Met that. <laughs> Definitely met that one. I don't know the guy who doesn't own sheet. At least every, like, I don't use a flat sheet, but I use a sheet on my bed. Yeah. I use sheet. Yeah. Uh, guy who doesn't clean his apartment. Oh, yeah, there's lots of those. Guy who won't lend you any clothes because he's afraid you're going to lose it. Yeah, for sure. Why? Do you know a guy who won't lend you clothes? No, I guess that not it's, won't. It's, 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 I've met a dude who's like, yeah, I know people who are like, hey, take care of my shirt. Yeah, but we are talking hypothetical. We're talking about people we've actually. Okay, cool. I don't know that guy. Now. I don't know that guy. I wouldn't ask anybody for the clothes. Now. Uh, the guy who passes out on your bed immediately after you finish having sex. Definitely like, know him. I feel that's a trope, dude. Right, I, yeah, right. We, uh, the guy who ghosted you but still follows you on Instagram. I don't no, know enough the, people. The guy who is uneasy about any of your mail. Oh, plans. yeah, I know that yeah, guy. I definitely know the that guy. The guy who lets his mom do his laundry when he's home. Mm -hmm. I don't know him. Oh, yep, we do. Okay, we do know him. I just thought about it. Yeah. We do know him. Uh, the when you get all dressed up. And, when you get all dressed up and go out with your friends. Oh yeah, I've, I've met. Do I've met know, those. Do we know that guy? Uh, do? I have definitely at some point, not recently, but do I remember being that? out with friends and like they're like texting their boyfriend. He's all mad that like she's out and he's oh, not. Okay. Like I don't all like right. I might not know the boyfriend, but I know the girl who's like texting her boyfriend, okay. going, right. "He's so mad I'm out here." Da -da 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 -da. You know, like right. that's fair. The guy who's annoyed when you are more professionally successful than he is? I don't know him, but I know they very much exist. All right, I don't think I know guy him Guy is either. rude to his mom in front. Whoa. <laughs> there should be. I know him. Really? Yeah. The guy who ever booty calls you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy. He's like, yeah, I'll call her up. That's definitely The me. guy who only ever drunks. Yeah, I know that guy, too. He's like, yeah, I hit up. Yeah. Interrupts you all the goddamn time. 
typical I, guy. I guess I don't know a, cla- a te- typical guy who makes PMS jokes when you're not in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I know someone who is that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, somebody will, like, they'll see the, the blood in the water. Or no, he'll be like, are you just out of your period or something? Like, yeah. I've had a friend be like, why does he always say that? I don't know. It's funny. The guy who won't have periods. Like, no, I don't know. Yeah, what the hell? Who won't? Who won't? Who won't? Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I know that guy. <laughs> guy um, who only suggests... What? Um, what? Nothing. Keep going. Guy only suggests bars, date doesn't convenient for him to get to. I mean, I don't know yeah. about all Text that. you Merry Christmas over the holidays after no month. Mu- <laughs> nah, we're good. The guy who wants... Who loves having text combos you but never wants to meet up. Can we reverse that for girls who want to have text combos but never want to meet up? Yeah, let's go with that. I'm going to pick it just because I feel like it exists. The one that applauds feminist speeches on the internet but disqualifies all his female co-workers. I I don't know. I don't know that guy. The guy who you have to remind to use a condom every time. (laughs) The guy who dismisses your taste in music. Man, how many <laughs> F-boys are out here, dude? I don't know why these make him an F-boy, though, to be honest. Uh, but I'm going to say yes. I definitely know I dismiss music constantly, and I, I you know. The guy <laughs> whose favorite subject conversation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, guy who only talks about himself. Talks about his exes all the time. Oh, <laughs> we know that guy. <laughs> Personally. The guy who doesn't believe in foreplay. Oh, no, that guy, too. Uh, do we know that guy? Do you know that guy? Do you know a guy that won't have foreplay with you? I mean, I've heard women talk about many men that, like, barely... Well, we gotta remember it's about the guys we know. Yeah, but if we know them through a woman that we know, it's just, it's like it's like the texting thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No, I don't I don't, pers- I don't talk about sex with my friends enough. Like, hey, men. dude, do you believe in foreplay? Nah, bruv. That crap. Yeah, I just want to stick it in. That's just a trick the guy for the... guy who f- never asks if you came... Came where? Where are you going? Where are you guys headed? <laughs> so I've never store. Been, the guy who never. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, Jones. I'm that guy that won't ask because I don't care. Oh, the guy <laughs> oh, wow. who's a vegetarian vegan lectures you about it. Nope, don't know him. The guy who is rude to wait staff at restaurants. I would not be that guy's friend. Yeah, so I don't know him. Yeah. The guy who is hanging around your friend. Hate hanging around. Hate friends. hanging around your friend. Do I hate hanging around girls? Friends? No, no her friends. No. no, I like hanging around with girls. Yeah, that'd be too. that'd be great. The, the guy, guy who th- always flakes on your plans last minute. I'm, I feel like I know him, but I don't know that I know him. Like, I, yeah, I feel like we have definitely met that guy. I mean, I know my friends are late to meet up to do all sorts of stuff, so I figure they do the same thing. Yeah, with I mean, my stepbrother is partially this. All right, so show me the result. What is it a result of? You checked. 25 out of 40 on this list. You've encountered quite a few, but they are running rampant. What can you do? But hey, they're running rampant. What can you do? Okay. Image is. You've uh, checked more than 81% of quiz takers. Dang. Damn. We know a lot of F boys. Is all of that stuff make you an F boy? I guess so. Like, if you went home and your mom was like, let me throw your laundry in for you, that makes you an F boy? Kind of, yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, well, your mom's doing your laundry. What, you, what are you doing? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> like, what are you doing, fam? I'm just like, somebody's doing my laundry for All us? All right, and what do we got at the bottom of the list, man? I think, gonna, I think we're good. I know, we're, we're definitely good, but I'm just giving them a sneak peek. Only at straight w- white guys will check 47 of 69 things. Oh, my God, on the next episode. <laughs> 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 that is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you leave a comment because we want to talk to you, you know, for Jonas. TNT. We are out.